All right, folks, welcome back. Um, I want to say today is day five. I realized yesterday I started the video and said, welcome to day three, um, and it was day four. So, <laughs> uh, pardon me, uh, bear with me. I'm uh, having a hard time keeping track of the days and we've got a lot more to go. Um, so this is where we landed yesterday. And um, I'm happier with it. The day before I was like, oh, this is, you know, not not good. Uh, definitely, it's not finished. There uh, are, it's just, it's not finished. So we're still in the process of discovering. I feel good, though, about the texture that's getting built up and the depth, which makes me happy. Like, especially here where there's some broken up sections. That makes me feel really happy. It's funny, these red bits still aren't working for me. I keep wanting to put red on this canvas, and every time I do, I just don't end up liking it. Um, what I'm getting a sense of is maybe a little bit of red shows up at the end, and that's the star of the show. That's kind of what I'm getting. So, I don't know. We'll see where it goes. Um, so, I've got some paint loaded up in my palette over here. Let me give it little squirt. Um, let's do a quick tour, see what we like, what we don't like. Again, I like these little bits showing up. It's got this totally 80s vibe right now with this kind of teal and pink. So that's sort of fun. Um, I might just kind of play that up and see where that goes. I really like how this acrylic ink is bright orangey red as it looks in the bottle. When I thinned it out, it, um, it looks a little a little cooler, a little pinkier underneath there. So that's kind of groovy. I kind of dig that. I'm still loving this circle. Got rid of that other shape, which was too close. So that was good. Um, have some neutrals in here for contrast. So gray, pink, and teal. I'm channeling the 80s. I don't know. I don't know. So if I turn it this orientation, I kind of like the contrast of the circles with the lines. That makes me happy. Yeah. Still got that little heart in there. That's cute. This is really muddy and ugly, so that might be an area to focus on. Next. And there's this. It's like we're going up the stairs. Did I turn it this way already? Mm. Mm. I think this is the orientation I painted in uh, it in yesterday. Yeah, because I had the heart facing me. I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging that orientation actually. This has got kind of like this sky feel going on up here, uh, which I kind of like. So, so yeah, that's where we are. I think I'll keep it in this orientation for today. I might spin it as I'm working on it. And what I thought I'd do today is bring in some more mark making tools. So I have a whole bunch of stencils that I use for different things. And I thought it might be kind of fun to just add a few of these. And I'm not going to be real precious or precise about it. Um, just adding some different places, maybe with my finger or a brush. Kind of playing up the circles theme. These are kind of cool. And some of this little kind of punchinella kind of thing. So just tools for mark making. Um, yesterday, this is my palette clean off paper from yesterday. So there's that. Um, that'll be fun. And I did today do something a little bit different. So... I think I mentioned I um, had a palette clean off paper from the first day or the first couple of sessions and I started working on this and so I finished this this morning. I think it's done for now. Um, I'm calling this one Waiting for Snow because it was snowing yesterday um, and I don't know. It just, that's the name that came to me. It doesn't necessarily make sense, uh, but that's, you know, whatever. That's what I called it. So, um, yeah, so I finished this before this. So I'm going to try that as an experiment and see if a little bit of warm up before I come to the canvas 
gets me a little bit um, more inspired and going in that in that direction. I don't know. We'll see. I'm probably going to do a little bit with the China marker as well. And uh, of course, always the skewer. I really loved these marks in here from this little guy. Palette knives, just all sorts of, of, of goodies. So let's just get started and get playing. I am going to start the timer, have a sip of tea, and um, we'll get going. Okay, I think I'm going to maybe just do some mark making here. Of course, I say, I'm not going to turn this. And then what do I do? I turn it. these points, some of these may show up, some of them may not. I'm starting to think a little bit about, um, a little bit about composition, but not really, because I'm not sure what it is yet. So I'm just What's in my head is certainly intuitively kind of placing things, but as I'm evaluating the piece, what I'm looking for is contrast. Do I have light next to dark? Do I have colors next to each other that, um, that pop? Do I have round lines next to straight lines? Do I have soft edges next to hard edges? That sort of a thing. And um, that is, uh, that's what I'm thinking about. I think it wants some Quinn magenta. I'm going to mix it a little bit with that pyro red and that white to make a little bit of this kind of pinkyish color here. I just kind of want some of this linear. The other thing I'm doing is I'll look at places where I have big shapes like this that I want to break up. And then as always, if it's in one place, it's got to go somewhere else. So there's that. Just I feel like I need some bigger shapes in here. This brush is not clean very good. Let me mix up kind of a dark purpley-ish color. Um, I'm taking a little bit of this cobalt teal, some magenta, a little bit of red, and some yellow to kind of make a neutrally sort of color. Where does this want to go? Maybe here. Here, kind of coming off the top. It's funny, right over where I put this other stuff, but that's okay. Mm, that's kind of a muddy, ugly mess. All right. All right. There we go. Big shapes, big shapes. So let's get out my catalyst again. I think I want some yellow. Mm, some yellow. Some yellow. I have a little bit of this fluorescent orange from that previous thing that I did. I'm going to mix a little of this magenta in here. 
I've got some on my fingers, so no, that's too orange. I don't like that. Okay, so let's go here, here, and some white. More white. How do we like that? A little bit better. Yeah, it's really interesting. Every time I put like a really warm orangey yellow on there. Ooh, that's kind of a hot pinkish kind of looking thing going on. That's kind of cool. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't want it. Ugh. Okay, I'm finishing my breaststroke. Don't count for me. All right, last one. I'm just cleaning off the paint. Okay, well, that was the fastest five minutes in history. I think I put maybe three things on there. Let me uh, let me stop that timer. All right, so now we've got a bubble gum pink kind of hot mess thing. Um, I want to make sure I keep my darks, so adding this layer in here was good to kind of give. I like how this light and dark kind of play next to, to each other in that. That's pretty cool. And, um, yeah, my arm just wants to make this motion, which is why I keep ending up with these sort of semicircles. That's just sort of what my body wants to do. And, um, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know I'm over my five minutes, but there is something here that's calling to me that I just feel like I need to do. And if I don't do it while it's wet, Sorry for the banging. Okay. Okay. And then the last thing I'll do, I promise, I promise, is I'm just going to throw a little bit of this on here. This is just the high flow in white. I'm going to spritz it just lightly with a little bit of water not too much, and I'm just going to let it do its thing. Maybe have it uh, run a little bit here. Okay. All right. So that was uh, maybe six minutes. <laughs> But these last little things um, are making me happy, you know, and it's almost like a little face in here, kind of like a little robot face. That's kind of neat. I've got two eyes here and a little face. That could be kind of cool. Um, hmm, let me sit with that. Who knows? Who knows where this will go, right? She, for me, when I'm painting and I'm doing a painting like this, Meaning the difference is sometimes I'll sit down and I'm going to paint a landscape today or I'm going to interpret this photograph. I don't do that very often, but sometimes I do. And um, and then I sit down and I do that and that's fine. Other times when I work more intuitively like this, I just keep adding layers and layers and layers until it becomes obvious whatever it is. And often picking it up, turning it around. Looking at it in different ways helps it to become obvious for me. And um, so, yeah, I always look forward. I'm just popping those bubbles because they, I don't always like how that looks. Um, it always does. So, again, the intention with this piece was discovery and play. 
So I'm definitely learning a lot and uh, I hope you are enjoying the process, <laughs> the good, the bad, and the ugly. And uh, I'm kind of digging it. I wasn't so uh, thrilled. And then in that last 30 seconds or so, I went to my go-tos, which are these high flows that I'm addicted to. And um, I just love, I love how they look. I love how organic they are and what comes through like this up here with the pink and the gray and the, mm. yeah, and this red, just, I don't know, I don't know. Something's going to happen with that red. We'll see. All right, folks, I could sit here and chat forever, but um, I'll let you go. Thanks so much for joining me. Leave me a comment. Let me know what shapes you're seeing, what, uh, what that looks like for you as well. And um, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.